Hello, hello guys! It's me again, MC, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've collected all of the suggestions and tips from my friends ko and my dad. <laughs> Those who were able to watch my videos. Of course, I'm just a very beginner makeup enthusiast and also YouTuber. I asked them kung ano yung comments nila, suggestions for the things that I did not do and they want to see in my video. So we are going to read some of them in the video while doing this look. For this one, I'm pretty much happy with the look that I have now because you can still use it every day pero hindi pang paso so ibinagay ko lang siya sa blouse ko na green okay and then this time uh, sana mas okay na siya uh, if you have any comments suggestions and tips for me yung sa mga video i hope you uh, you can write thank you so much enjoy my video <laughs> We're going to start with the first request. Uh, it is from Maddie. So Maddie is actually a very good friend. She is a sister from a different mother since university days. First comment is I need to show the product that I am going to use using my palm so that the camera can focus on the product. Okay, so the first thing that I put on my face after I took a bath is the moisturizer. Okay, you can see that it's Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Moisturizer. She also said that I have to tell or explain why I bought this product. So actually, I'm not sure if a lot of people know Mary Kay, but it's an American brand. So I researched the price of Mary Kay from Shopee and Lazada. Prices are very much different. This one, it can cost you 634 to 998.75. I don't know how much this is really because my husband bought this for me. <laughs> See, very supportive. So according to the description, this moisturizer is for normal to dry skin. It's subtle for sensitive skin. Oil and fragrance free, that is very true and non-comedogenic to just show it to you this is how it looks it's really white and then it's not really sticky at all so let's put it on it's not really sticky it dries pretty quick so the next thing that i'm going to put of course after the moisturizer we have to put the primer i've shown this one many times from my other videos this is la girl pro prep high definition smoothing face primer so why did i buy this one when i was in the shopping mall i was looking for base primer and the Abby sales lady very eager she said this is good and it's also very cheap i think this is only for 300 more or less 300 pesos it says here so this description helps smooth and fill in fine lines and pores paraben and fragrance free and it's enriched with vitamin e so we just have to apply it what does it look like so ayan it's almost transparent it feels really smooth you can put this all over your face but for me i only put this with my problem areas most of the time you will see like some lines under eye around your eye and yeah so that your eyeshadow won't run you can put it here also here and then the smile lines over here yeah and there okay we're done with the primer what's next of course after the moisturizer and the primer the next thing is the base which is our foundation so foundations comes in different types so we have the liquid type like this these two this one is the compact type okay so if you see there this is the prop and then the powder the compact powder plus of course the stick okay so this is uh shine free fit me shine free foundation na stick it looks like this okay you can see all right 
Okay, so this is the ones that I choose so often. Use these two together because first of all, they're both good <laughs> on their own ways. On this one, it has the dewy effect. This is the power perfection of the face shop. This is a BB cream type. Uh, of foundation it has SPF 37 PA++ so why do I like this since my face is very uh, well not very dry normal to dry skin I use this one it gives me it this one gives me a dewy finish all right okay someone's calling oh my husband is calling hi opa hello baby girl hello well, thank you so much for joining my uh, my vlog. <laughs> I'm not joining my vlog. 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 I'm not Wala naman. Uh, gusto ko lang sabihin na mahal na mahal kita. <laughs> <laughs> gusto ko lang sabihin sa'yo na kinukompleto mo yung araw ko sa araw-araw. <laughs> Walang masabi. Alright. Well, uh, guys, ganyan po talaga gusto kami. Gusto ko sabihin sa mga subscribers mo na ipagpatuloy ang panonood ng every video mo. Kasi marami kayong matutunan dyan. May mga kwentang bakagay na <laughs> may mga kwento at mga aral kayong mabukulot sa vlog ng aking asawa. Kaya pagpatuloy niya lang yan. At sa mga hindi ba nagsusubscribe, magsubscribe na kayo. Kayo nalang inihintay ng channel na to. At kapag yan ay naging uh, 10 million ang mga subscribers niya na ako. Kaya magsubscribe na kayo at click nyo yung notification bell para updated kayo sa kanyang uh, daily vlogs. Ayan, sinasabi po niya yon <laughs> Hindi po daily vlogs. Ano ba? <laughs> sinasabi niya yon kasi lagi kong nakakalimutan sa video. Ayan. Thank you, Opa. Okay. Sige. <laughs> Bye. Na, I love you. Sige po. Kain mabuti. Bye-bye. Ayan. And going back. So, this shade is V201 Beige uh, Apricot. This one gives me a dewy finish. Yung hindi siya. Medyo parang alam niyo yung Korean uh, type of skin, di ba? So, this, anyway, the face shop is a Korean brand. And then, of course, the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. It promises you up to 24 hours foundation. It's really matte finish. And this one is 104 Golden Beige. It's oil control, smooth finish, and so on. Alright. Yeah, so this is really good actually. It gives you really the promise. <laughs> Of course, you won't stay with your makeup on for 24 hours naman, right? It's not very advisable. You're not being kind to your skin if you do that, okay? So, you don't need 24 hours effect, but this one is good. However, for my skin type, since I'm dry, uh, my skin is normal to dry, the matte finish is not good. For me so what i do is i combine them i'm just gonna put this on okay i am so as i mentioned this is how it looks like for the infallible l'oreal okay i'm going to put this on as well okay i will mix them with my brush my foundation brush this is a synthet synthetic one okay and then I'm gonna dub it around my face. Okay, so guys, when it comes to putting on your foundation, there are a lot of ways that wherein you can do it. You can use your brush, you can also use your damp sponge, like this one. Alright, so the problem my problem with this one, it gets a lot of products okay so but this one the coverage is not that a lot but uh, I am also using my kabuki brush yeah, kabuki brush okay so da, 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 da. 
This is actually the first brush that I bought for myself. Alright. <laughs> and it feels really good on the face. It's it's really, really soft. It blends well. It blends the foundation well. Hard to reach areas. Also the neck. Don't forget the neck. Okay, let me just check myself in the mirror. Alright, don't worry if your foundation will be on your uh, on your lips, it's it's okay. But as much as possible for it not to feel very thick, you should uh, avoid putting on foundation on your lips. Okay, I think we are now all set for the foundation. So what's next for uh, after foundation? I forgot to mention the prices. So normally, this L'Oreal Matte Liquid Foundation Matte Finish, this is 600 pesos. But they are on sale now. I think it's only 499. Actually, L'Oreal is on sale in Shopee. It's like their uh, launching sale until September 30. So please check it out. Uh, for those who are also really crazy about makeup, most of their uh, products are on sale. This is also 600, worth 600 pesos, but it's also 14, 490, I think, in Shopee. And then for this one, you know what? This one is like 500 something when I bought this. This is only how many? 20 grams. Okay, this is very small if you see. Okay, but guys, this is very worth it because I bought this last March 2018. I'm using it very often if you notice, but... I still have it. I can still use it. There's still a lot inside. Okay, so moving on. What's next? So we already have moisturizer, primer, foundation. So the next thing that we're going to put on is the concealer. So this is one of the bases. So when it comes to concealer, Maddie, <laughs> still Maddie, she said that I have to explain why I put on such such color. There are different color corrector concealer so i have this one okay from la girl pro concealer in in orange okay high definition in orange so why orange i put this under my eyes over here okay why orange because the orange one this covers your dark circles under your eye there are other colors like this one you can see there the green one Okay, the green one is actually, um, I have my chit chits here, <laughs> okay. Uh, the green one is for the pimples that are still fresh and red, okay. It covers them, alright, the color corrector. The violet on the other hand, so I have this one from Face Shop. So this is also makeup base. Uh, it has SPF 30 PA++. How many product does it have? I cannot see. Yeah, 40 grams. Okay, this is a little heavier. Alright. So what can this color corrector do? The lavender. For the violet one, it covers the yellow patches if your face doesn't have even skin tone. We can use this one. There's also yellow. I don't have it here, but it covers the fresh bruise. Yung nagva violet and blue. Okay, yun yung kino cover on. And then, of course, the concealer that are like yellow, beige, and very light ivory, something like that. It opens up the face. Okay, so san yun nila laga? Yung mga light ones from here, the concealer one here also. Okay, and so on. All right, you did it by there. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my concealer, the orange one. All right, so I'm gonna put it here. Why is my face like this? Why am I putting my concealer this way? Bakit pa downward uh, triangle? <laughs> Parang clown. Why am I putting it this way? Because if you put it like that, it will even emphasize the darkness more. But if you put it this way, gradual, yung color magi even out. Siya. So I'm gonna use my sponge. Actually, it's not yet done. So let me just 
wet it. Put water there. Alright, and of course, the sponge is, you have to use it just to dump soft touch. Ayan, so, tapos na po ako mag-even out, actually. And then, I put uh, a little more of this one. So, na-achieve naman, di ba? Nawala ang dark circle. So, to make things, well, to keep them together, <laughs> let's use Nishido Final Powder. This is 25 grams. This is only 149 pesos. Alright, marami na po siya. Okay, so why do we need to put this one? Uh, the powder, the setting powder, the final powder, it actually uh, somehow makes the uh, con concealer, everything together. It helps together uh, the products that you already put on your face. Para hindi siya mukhang cakey. So, lahat ng paglalagyan, nilagyan mo ng concealer, you have to put the powder. Okay. So, it doesn't matter how much you put. Later, ilagay nyo lang dyan. Kailangan maputi siya talaga. Okay. Ilagay lang siya dyan. And then, later on, you brush it out. Kailangan niyang ma-absorb lahat ng liquid powder, or li liquid products na nilagay mo sa iyong mukha. Next one is, let's start with our kilay. So, this is LA Girl. LA Girl is, uh, I think, this one. Sorry. LA Girl comes with free uh, brush. Nakasama sa kit. Nakakahon siya eh. So, I already threw it away. But this one is Gel 724 Brown. When putting on your kilay, um, I was uh, told <laughs> that you have to somehow start in the middle para hindi siya masobrahan just in case. Kasi dapat subtle lang yung nasa gitna. I mean, uh, yung nasa dulo. So you have to start here. Ayan, sabi pala ng sister ko, kailangan daw, lagi akong nakatingin sa, sa camera. However, it's difficult to look kasi... Never like my makeup guy, right? But I will try to look at the camera if uh, if I'm speaking. <laughs> All right. Bye. And then of course we need our spoolie. <laughs> I am spoolie. brush para mag-even out ang color. So, so, tinapos ko na rin yung kabila para hindi time consuming. So, the next thing, after we put on our gel brow line, we have to use our concealer para ma-define yung line. So, I am using this one. So, dun lang sa pinaka-ilalim para kitang-kita yung line. Para pak na pak ang brow. Sa taas din. So, dahan-dahan. We do this. At first, I don't think I need this thing. Kasi may kilay naman ako. But when I realized, uh, nung, na, nung natuto ko maglagay from the workshop that I attended, I'm not sure if I can mention it, so let me just ask them first. <laughs> Ayan. Mukhang walang difference. Pero kasi when you put on makeup, of course, nalalagyan siya ng foundation. And mukha na, pag sa, ano, mukha na siyang light. Pagka nagpipicture ka, nagsiselfie ka, it doesn't look like that. So you just have to make sure na mag-iingat ka lang. Baka kasi mapakapal. Uh, guilty rin ako naman na minsan kasi sobrang sobra din kapal nung nilalagay ko. Hindi naman siya pang night event or red carpet event. <laughs> pang araw-araw lang. So, after that, um, the next thing that we're going to do is our eyeshadow. I have here three palettes from eyeshadow. Ang unang-una kong palette talaga, yung pang teenager. This one from Careline. Pocket Palette Eyeshadow in Festival. So, if you can see, medyo lumang-luma na. Meron din siyang procedure. If you open it, ganyan siya. This is very cheap. I can't remember how how much. Pero yeah, wala pa yata 200 to. Okay? 
And yung mga color niya, diba? Ang cute. And then, the next one is the Maybelline the blush nudes. Ayan, ganito siya. May libre siyang brush din. Pero, na, nawala ko na yata. Ay, you know, it's here. This one. Ayan, dito siya nakalagay. So, ilbalik natin siya doon. This is my favorite. The BYS Peach Palette. If you see there, ito, this is very important. May number yan and M. Sin dito, sinasabi, it says 12 months, 12 M. That means, af upon opening, after you open the product, it is safe to use for 12 months. This logo over here, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. That is the logo that this palette is cruelty-free. Meaning, while formulating this palette, they did not use any animal for trial. That's why I like this product. In here, it didn't say, but this one is 36M. Ayan, 36M siya. So, matagal-tagal siya. For this one, oh, it didn't say. Maybe it's in the, it's on the box, but I threw it away as well. I'm gonna use this one. Kasi meron ito sa Mercury Drugs. <laughs> May tatlong shades or uh, uh, set siya ng palette. I decided to use this one. Of course, the first one, yung base, kailangan lagi siyang very, the lightest color. Okay, so I'm gonna use Maybelline for this one. The lightest. Okay, and this one. Here, you just have to put it all over. Ito yung base. Some people just uh, finish the first one and then the other one. Pero kasi nakakalimutan ko yung mga colors na ginagamit ko. So, <laughs> after the uh, one eye, ginagamit, sin sinusunod ko na yung isa. One color at a time for both eyes. Okay, you put it all over. Ayan. Next one, of course. Uh, darker color. I'm gonna use this one. The name of the palette or the color is Lavish. When putting eyeshadow, we have to start from the outer side going in. A reminder. Alright, so dito ko lang yan for the V. And then... To the crease. Pataas. Mararamdaman nyo naman yung crease. Ano ba yung crease ng mata? Ito yung uh, end ng bone. Okay? Tsaka yung pinaglalabasan ng eyeball itself. Ayan. Makikita nyo naman. Diba? Ayan. So, let's go over here. There are people who are, of course, from my friends and family who watch the video. Thank you so much. They are actually asking me to review, uh, for example, products, the two types of lipsticks or two types of something, or maybe the whole product, same brand. For example, all of them are going to be BYS and so on. Yes, I am really planning to do that, but I'm waiting for my salary. <laughs> Alright, kasi wala naman po kami sponsor. So, everything will come from our, from my pocket and also my husband's pocket. <laughs> Alright, so this is a blending brush for eyeliner. Okay, ganyan po yung itsura niya. Normally, puti yan. <laughs> Yung ito. Pero dahil ginamit na natin, may color na siya. Okay? So actually, I finished the other one uh, just to try the colors. Okay? That would be green and violet. So, from this palette, I'm going to show how I did it. Okay? The first one, of course, we use this brush. Okay? Ayan. May mga kulay pa. So, the first thing that I put is, of course, the lighter shade. So, I'm gonna get this one. Ayan. So, dun lang sa may linya. So, 
the other side for the green. I'm going to use this green over here. Next one. So, pano? So, do pa si pagay na to. So, we'll start from here. that of course we are going to have the eyeliner okay i'm going to use this eyeliner okay so i bought this from miniso it's 149 i think uh this is spent felt tip for beginner i recommend this kind of eyeliner because super fine yeah so sobrang liit ng tip para siyang g-tech <laughs> if we're talking about ball pens or sign pens Okay, mas, mas, uh, kung magkamali ka man, maliit lang yung malalagyan niya. Kaya mo siyang, kumbaga, i-build up pa pag may nagkamali. Kasi hindi siya ganun kakapal. So, nilagyan ko na yung, yung isang side. Why do I like this? First of all, it's very cheap. Diba? And it does the work. Okay, and another thing, if you shake it, meron siyang pang-shake. Yung, alam niyo yung parang may bulita sa loob. Para ma-shake siya talaga. Meron siya. <laughs> Ayon. So, uh, my tip for you to uh, somehow put on eyeliner easier. Kung gusto niyo my wing, mag-drawing na kagad kayo ng wing para from there, tsaka niyo siya papasok. And then, pwede naman uling gumawin. Basta unahin niyo yung papasok. From the outer side of your eyes, papasok dito. Okay, so let's try this one again. On the other side. The pelt tip, the very thin pelt tip over there helps you. Okay. Para kung magkakamali ka lang, which is very common, mahirap talaga sa challenge po talaga ng magbili ng eyeliner. So para makakontrol mo pa rin. So, kahit magkamali ka, maliit lang. So hindi siya kaya ganong kakapal. We already finished putting on our eyeliner, liquid eyeliner po siya. The next thing that we have to do is, of course, our mask. This is also from, I think, Miniso. Some people, para effective, pinatapatan siya ng blower para uminit, para talagang mag-curl ang ating eyelashes. So, girls, don't be afraid. Hindi naman siya nakakatakot. Mararamdaman mo naman kung naiipit na yung balat mo, di ba? So, if you feel na naiipit na yung balat mo, huwag mo nang ituloy, adjust mo na. Okay. After you use your eyelash curler, of course, I use Maybelline New York Super Curl. Ah, hyper pala. Hyper Curl. Okay, so this is waterproof. So as I mentioned many times, can, you can only use this or any mascara for three months after opening it. Why? It's unhygienic because mascara touches the tear ducts over here. Okay, so they are really close to those tear ducts that can irritate or possibly irritate your eyes. So it is much better, okay? We don't splurge because the lifespan or the shelf life of the mascara is very, very short. Three months lang po siya. Hindi naman siya yung mapapanis <laughs> or uh, it will go bad. But pwede pa rin naman siyang gamitin. However, hindi na siya ganun kalinis. So, I suggest wag na. Since mura lang... Ito, 149 lang ata to. You can buy this in every Mercury drugstore. It's readily available. Hindi mo na kailangan pumunta ang mall. And don't share. If you have to use it with someone, for someone, or you're gonna do their makeup, use a disposable spoon. So after the mascara, if you have falsies, you can put it on. 
after. And then, next one, after everything else, of course, kailangan na natin i-contour ang ating mga face. Okay? So, I use, uh, I think, if, if you already watched my, my blogs, my three other blogs, I use Detail, Contour, and Blush Palette for in one. Okay? May highlighter din siya. So, ganito ang itsura niya. Meron din siyang procedure. May mga steps din siya. Okay. So, sa likod, you can see, cruelty-free siya. At saka, it lasts for 24 months upon opening. So, ilang grams ba to? 5.5 grams per circle. Alright. So, that's times uh, 6. Why did I choose this one? Before, uh, they like uh, doing promo like buy one take one so originally this for this is this sells for 499 but since buy one take one so do the math divide mo sa two so there i'm going to use my contour flat brush over here i'm gonna use this one over here another color different shades sila, pero but i'm gonna use this one so san ba tayo magsistart mag contour ang contour especially for the cheekbone para ma-emphasize yung cheekbone so it starts with your facial hair mm -hmm. from here to here okay and and then blend Mamaya, pwede nyo siyang i-blend ng sponge. Okay. So, saan pa ba tayo mag-contour? You can also contour your, the side here, para hindi mukhang malaki yung mukha. <laughs> okay. You will see the difference naman. Alright. Another thing, para hindi malaki yung pisngi. Or magkaroon ka ng jawline. You can also put it from here. Para may illusion na meron kang leeg. <laughs> okay. So, i-blend lang natin. I-blend lang natin. Okay. Actually, what I do, i-dadab ko lang siya ng ganito. Kasi may kulay. Pigmented naman na siya. And next one, of course, kasama sa contour, ang nose. So, I'll use the same one para makontrol ko lang. Okay, this one. From here, kumuha ka lang ng line. Ayan. Tuwid ba? Ayan. Konti-konti lang kasi hindi naman siya pang, pang pageant. Hindi siya pang Miss Universe. Okay? Ayan. So, I think may linya na naman. Diba? May shadow na. So, the next thing we have to do is, of course, the highlight. So, saan ba dapat nilalagay yung highlight? I'm gonna use this one. Actually, I ordered, uh, I well, I already got new highlight from... Elf and then setting spray. I'm gonna do a review or test do on sa mga products na yon. Maybe the next vid for the next video. Kasi hindi ako kailangan lumabas ngayon, so we won't be able to test it out. So highlight dito lang siya. Here you can put it also on top. Yung in between ng eye 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 eyeshadow and your kilay. Okay. Ayan. Meron naman de ba? Cool. And then, the other side. Dun ulit. And here. Ito. So, to help the contour, 
you have we have the next one one of the last things of course is our blush okay so i'm also going to get some from here okay dab dab lang circular motion smile like this para lumabas yung cheekbone kung meron man <laughs> para alam nyo kung saan ilalagay circular motion like this kabila makikita naman yung spot yung tumatambok dun dapat nakalagay ang blush okay so if you know if you know this na sumasama siya sa contour right Okay, so next one, since medyo kakaibang ate, well, we use the violet and the green for our eyeshadow. I am going to use a pink lipstick, lip balm, the pink one. Okay, so I have here, I have my Revlon. Okay, this is called Revlon Color Burst Lipstick, shade na ay 30 Fuchsia. Okay. You can see it there. Fuchsia. And, bigay po to sa akin. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy Gaze. So, ayan. The color is like this. Very hot pink. For me, when I'm putting on my lipstick, I start from the outer side. Papasok. Pagay. So, tapos na po tayo. So, if you have any comments or uh, anything you wanted to add uh, para ma-improve ko yung video ko, videos ko, please write down sa comment section. Alright? Or send me a message for those who know me and friends tayo sa Facebook. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching my video for, uh, for today. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed it. And please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet in my channel. Plus, click like and the notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload any new video. So thank you so much. Saying goodbye for now. Ta-ta!